Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well and safe. Topic for today is AWS Ficker, a good service, a good company acquired by AWS last year, which helps you to protect the enterprise communication with end-to-end -end encryption. The end-to-end -end encryption uses 256-bit end-to-end encryption protocol, which is very good uh, from the compliance activity. You can also protect, you know, the chat messages, calls, file sharing, screen sharing with the encryption. So only the intended recipients will be able to decrypt that particular message or within an organization. Easy to deploy, easy to manage, easy to scale at AW, from AWS Management Console. You can also retain the information required for the compliance, legal hold or the audit purposes. This is very important from the compliance activity. You can also automate the workflow with an extensible user interface using Wicker bots and API operations. So we are getting a lot of different benefits over here. But also you have to keep a note in your mind that this comes with a pricing, a different pricing altogether. We will discuss the pricing model as well. But before that, let's check the workflow, what they are providing to us. So you can easily control the Wicker management through administrative controls. The, it's a user-friendly user interface where messaging rooms, you can create groups, you can create room, calling voice and video, screen sharing, file sharing, ex external federation, then extensible. So basically securing everything end to end. You can have the data retention as per the requirement, then the workflow can be automated. Plus uh, the transform your business with enhanced security, privacy, plus streamlined compliance effort. As you can see, like from the documentation perspective, from the workflow perspective, we are seeing that this comes with a great advantages. Okay. Now use cases, uh, again, uh, more of our use cases towards uh, securing the end-to-end -end encryption is like communication, file sharing, screen sharing, what we have discussed. Then maintain the privacy and build trust, facilitate internal external collaboration and strengthen the administrative controls. So this is very important part. Like if you use Wicker with AWS as a service, because now it's a AWS company, it's very easy to manage at scale. So you don't have to worry about scaling in terms of, you know, the user management and the software management kind of stuff. Now, I just want to uh, walk you through a few of the blocks what uh, I have seen through Wicker. So this is one of the Wicker blog where, uh, as you can see, aiding Afghan refugee through secure communication. Then we have a Wicker overview, then announcing a general availability of AWS Wicker in different, different regions. So we will see what all regions we have Wicker. Then uh, messaging protocol, our focus to enter an encrypted enterprise communication. So like a lot of things are over here in the blog, which I'll be sharing in the description section. So please go through that if you're interested in knowing what Wicker is all about. Now, AWS welcomes Wicker to the team. This was acquired by AWS last year, somewhere around June 2021. And you can go through the blog as well. So I will share I will be sharing all these blog details so that you guys can also go through it. It's not like I'm telling you like all these uh, stuff one by one, but it's better for you as well to understand Wicker in detail because I'll be just covering the basic concept and finally going to the demo part. Now, let me go back to the documentation. There is something called pricing. So as you can see, you will be uh, getting all the detailed features, pricing, getting started, FAQs, customers and everything. The free trial summary or the free tier summary over here is like up to 30 users for three months. So it is free and include up to 30 days of data retention as well. The pricings are quite different uh, in Virginia. As of now, uh, we have like $0 for three months and 30, day, 30 users for 30 days of retention. One to one group, one one to one, then group chats, then rooms up to 30 users. Standard is $5 per user per month. And then premium is $15 user per month. So again, uh, depend upon the use cases, the number of users you have, but in terms of, you know, understanding the software itself, 
the service itself it's better for you to go with the free model free tier and show it to the management that hey we can use aws wicker in our internal organization in order to reduce a lot of different pricing uh, instead of using the third party vendor again if you are heavily aws native then i would prefer just explore this particular service this is one of a good service and i have my interaction with the service was good with one of my customer which i dealt almost six months back so it's easy to use easy to manage and yes uh, you can play around for the free trial i would say let's go to aws management console so in order to visit the aws wicker console what we have to do either you can type aws wicker or go to services inside business application you will find aws wicker so let's click on that and as of now it's only available in virginia the other regions are not enabled but uh, again being a being this kind of an application for an org i would say you can deploy in one of the region and yes from there you can use it you might feel a lag of a millisecond i would say if you're operating from europe but that's not that much so in order to do the practical demo what we have to do we just have to click on create a network so let's click on create a network this will navigate us to admin.wicker.com admin welcome page now here you have to you know uh, choose the network choose something that your team will recognize so what i have to do i will go for cloud for devops that's my channel name uh continue obviously i'll go with the free trial i i don't want to go with the standard or premium because this is only for the demo purpose and as you can see up to 30 users for 30 days of data retention maximum 1 gb file attachment and voice and video call up to 100 people and federated users so let's click on create network did i click create network yeah it's processing it's created now from here you can manage your plans so let's say if you want to move from free trial to standard or premium if you like the tool then yes you can go with that uh, you can go for the upgrade of plan and if i see let's let's look at or navigate from one another one of the pointers over here so we have a dashboard which shows active users pending users then we have a invite network profile click on network profile we don't have anything apart from the network id we can share this network id whenever we want team directory as of now nothing is there we can create a users within team directory and as you can see like with the free trial i can have 30 users then we have bot management i can create a new bot based upon the requirement what i have control settings disallow the invites allow wicker meet invites allow wicker pro invites now faq is there so you can go through all the faqs aws wicker is available for the following os so this is a software that you can download as well microsoft windows 10 mac os 10.13 and above and then rest of the other versions we have Linux, Ubuntu and Snap packages too. So you can go through the uh, FAQ section too. Let me go back to my Wicker and dashboard. Let's click on network profile, not a network profile, team directory. Let's create a new user. I would say Shashank, then Abhishek, country code 91, phone number, just a random one, I would say seven three four five six seven eight nine ten how many of them two four six yeah email let me give my uh fake not a fake email i would say because i will be getting an email over here okay default create invitation has been sent check the mail id I got an email where it says, welcome to AWS Wicker. You can download this app and step two is basically click this link to register my account. Let me click this link to register my account. Safari can't open the specified address. Why is that? Okay, let me download this first. I'm on Mac, so it should be this one. 
AWS worker for Mac allow it's downloading uh, so we just have to wait let's go back to the mail ID if you have successfully installed then move back to step 2 so we have to wait for this to come back right and after you register give yourself a pat on the back and the gold star perfect let me go to download section wicker let's install it it's done or not yeah it's done perfect so let's open that open close it close this it's getting open now it might take time meanwhile let's click on register my account yes return to your AWS Wicker app to continue yeah so we are waiting for Wicker app to come up it's jumping around yeah here it is continue with SSO or you can use your work email address so let me use this one which I have given gmail.com sign in continue with the invitation code if you haven't received the email shortly contact your network administrator so let's wait for our email let me check my email okay so I believe the link that what we clicked from the mail we got the link over here I mean not the link the code basically the in the code that Vicar was looking for invitation code let's copy paste continue set the password so I'm just setting the password at one two three okay so let's continue and that should be it for us to enter into the Wicker desktop app perfect so now what I can do obviously I don't need this tool I'm online this is just similar to Microsoft Skype or Slack or any other specific tool right so I can create a room as an example DevOps team right then expired time is 30 days burn on read timer so you can uh, do that as well description Dev DevOps team discussion next search for the contact as of now I'm the only one so that's fine so I created a DevOps team contact now if I create another user and I, I can also refer a friend over here I can just uh, give the email ID and invite him or her so that's one thing so if I do hi message has been sent to DevOps team as a group right in, in the room basically since I'm the only one present in this entire room so that's why uh, obviously I cannot chat with myself right I need somebody else to be there so that I can chat to and fro with either the team member or the number of member we have in this particular room so that's how Wicker looks like that's how Wicker works in terms of the configuration you can do call from here you can see the save files as of now nothing has been saved you can go for you know uh, this recording the audio basically and you can send the files as well expires in 30 days that's a free trial remember we are still under the free trial we are not uh, in the standard or the premium uh, part of this agreement it's totally free for 30 I guess for three months 30 days is the retention for a message that can be extended when you you know change the pattern of your uh, license agreement from free trial to standard or the premium one let's say if you want to delete this particular room then what you can do click on the three dots and delete so this will delete the room that you have created that's how this looks like now if you refer a friend and bring him over wicker then you can do the direct message like one-to-one -one discussion as well so that's how it looks like i hope this clears a lot in terms of uh, what wicker is all about how you can create a new user invite a new user and add it to a room for a chat and rest of the other things can be done over here
so few more stuff that I wanted to show you over here now if you click on the navigation go to my account you can change the picture over here your avatar image you can add your phone number change password you can change the status as well as of now it's green which means online then go to the contacts you can search the contact within the directory now if I go back here settings we have notifications privacy and safety so if you click on privacy and safety you can uh, do the unlock of messages you can activate the two-factor authentication which is you know uh, required for better security by, de by default it is disabled so if I click over here you can enable this two-factor authentication scan your device with Google Authenticator and enter the code over here I don't want to do that for now you can share your location roadmap then obviously uh, default map zoom is 18 it's set to 18 you can change as per your requirement you can go for the satellite hybrid model totally depend upon you you can block you can see the blocked user as well as of now nothing is there support logging so manage your all support uh, cases over here like log files do not contain any personal identifiable information are stored locally on your device where you may want to manually share with the Wicker support so that's how you do that enable the message draft so if it is in a draft section you can do that too calling enable the TCP calling or audio notification so that's also doable from the Wicker app device management it's Mac for me which I have registered it so that's something I can do I can see connectivity enable Wicker open access this is for more towards the VPN so if you want to do entire discussion on the VPN yes you can do that so that's what open access is all about there is some error so obviously I need to do some of the configuration appearance you can uh, you know change as per your requirement so these are the settings section what we have for each of the tabs over here uh, refer a friend support you can check all the support activities logging support site open source privacy notification keyboard shortcuts everything is listed over here check for the updates as of now I believe it's uh, it's what let's see check for the updates cancel the update as of now I don't want to do the update it will go it will take time so that's why so these are all things what we have in the Wicker app and being an administrator if you want to manage everything yes you can do it from here the same stuff team directory you can check the team directory who all added over here as a user control settings as of now this is in the free tier so that's why you won't be able to do it you have to upgrade the plan to unlock this feature the same goes for the pro invites upgrade plans we have discussed about that so it's it's basically a play around time for you guys just give a try show it to the management the charges are not that too high I would say depend upon org to org because if you are let's say if you have a team of 500 people or 1000 within an organization so obviously the pricing may vary but for the uh, startup for a team of let's say 5 members 10 members or 30 members we can go with Wicker and obviously for the higher organization ends as well so yeah, play it around with this tool, show it to the management. If you're facing an issue, place out a comment in the comment section. I'll be there to help you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.